Hello, it's Ruby and today I have got another video in my back to school series. Today I'm going to be giving some advice on how to create a good study space, especially if you're going into maybe year 10, year 12 and you haven't had to spend so much time revising previously. Um, I hope that this is going to be especially helpful for anyone who has online school this year and a continuation of that because especially if you're working at home all day, having a really solid space where you can be productive is so important and obviously everyone is in completely different circumstances and it's not going to be possible for everyone to have all of these things at once and even if you can't get all of these just trying to get a few of them should help you to be more productive in the new academic year. So for the purpose of this video I'm actually going to be setting up a new study space using my old desk, it's like this old school desk that my dad rescued off this bonfire pit when I was like six years old and it was my desk before this one and it's currently downstairs in the living room and I'm going to be setting it up in accordance with this advice you can see step by step how to actually set up a new study space. Okay so the first thing that I would recommend is making sure that there is good lighting. Of course it's important to be able to see what you're doing when you're studying. What I always say is if you can try and get natural light so try and move your desk to a window because natural light is nice to study by. I also really do think that there's something quite mindful about being able to work with an outside view ahead of you uh, because it makes everything feel less closed off and it just makes you feel less isolated, if that makes sense. So especially if you're going to be spending long hours at your desk, I think having it by a window is really useful. If this isn't an option, then make sure you have a good lamp, which is bright so that you can get good lighting still when you're working. Um, and also the lamp is actually just important generally for when you're studying at night and daylight obviously isn't an option. Having a clean space is key, so before you get started with anything, clean your desk. Give it a good disinfect. Um, you can really feel the difference when you sit down to a clean desk. You can kind of tell when it's dirty. Whilst you're at it, make sure to tidy it regularly. Personally, I tidy my desk space twice a day, once in the evening and once at around lunchtime. And I clean my desk maybe once every two days, but it could be once every five days, just it depends. Whilst you're at it also, clean your laptop or your iPad or whatever thing you use most often because like the desk, it will pick things up. They say that a clear space is a clear mind and I really do think that this is correct. Try and make your actual desk space as minimal as possible, so don't clutter it up with pen pots, etc. You know, make sure that you've got enough space to actually work because at the end of the day, that is the main purpose of your desk. So we've got a clean space, it's disinfected, it's tidy. The third thing we want to do is actually equip it with the stationery that we will need. What things will you need while you're at your desk? I recommend keeping all of the stationery that you use on a regular basis really accessible so that as soon as you need that highlighter, you can just grab it from your desk like so, you've got it. If you need a pen, you can grab it. It's not something that you have to faff around looking for because the more opportunity you give yourself to faff around and look for things, the, the more time you're going to end up being distracted, procrastinating. You want to minimise distractions and I do think that having everything easily accessible is a great way to do this. So make a list of the things that you do use on a regular basis. Uh, maybe tier it, so tier one is things that you use every 10 minutes, tier two is things that you use once a day, tier three is the things that you use once a week or once a month and then you can develop your storage solutions based on how often you actually do use it. So I have pen pots for the pens that I use on an hourly basis. Then I've got a mini storage unit under my desk for things that I use maybe every three hours and then I have boxes for things that I use maybe once a week that I don't use very often. It also means that your desk doesn't get too cluttered. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I am a big advocate for turning work into play. And I think one of the great things about study space is you can help to facilitate that mindset shift just through your workspace. I always think it's key to have a workspace that you enjoy being in. Make it a pleasant space to be in. Make it cozy, make it comforting. Fill it with your favorite things. Um, though not distracting things, put up candles to make it cozier. Maybe put some wild flowers on your desk, maybe put a painting that you really like, some photographs. Um, I have this wonderful academic 
dark academia mood board on my wall which is filled with all of these things that I love and it does make me feel motivated. Like having an aesthetic such study phase where you want to be, where you want to spend your time really does make the world of a difference. So do whatever you can to make make your space somewhere that you that you like to be. On the subject of candles actually, I would recommend having a signature candle scent that you can burn in your room. If you can't use a candle then I'd recommend just having like some sort of home spray that you spray before you study. But scent memory is a thing, like if you can find a scent that you associate with being productive and with studying with your study space and you light that candle every time you feel productive, then when you do sit down and you light that candle at the beginning of a study session, you are just going to tell your brain that you're in that productive mindset again. Actually, on a similar grain, if you can, only use your desk space for productive things or like study related things because our brains associate spaces with activity. For example, when I sit down at the dinner table, I know that I'm going to eat and so my brain expects to be fed. Whereas when I sit down at my desk, my brain expects to work hard and to study and to do something pro productive and try not to confuse locations too much. Try not to watch TV at your desk, for example, because that might disturb your mindset approach to being at your desk. Open the window. This is again part of having a nice study space which is just pleasant to be in. Having fresh air always helps me to be more focused, especially if it's cold actually. Um, I actually find I work better when it's cold. One thing I always find when I'm working is that random to-dos will like pop up in my mind or like reminders, things that I need to remember. They're grappling for my attention and they're saying, really procrastinate, just like leave this task till later and go focus on, on me, on this task. And it's so easy to get distracted by something like that when it comes to mind it's only going to take five minutes and you think oh I just really need to get that done I might forget so what I now do is I keep my master to-do list next to me on the desk whenever I'm working and then if something comes up I can quickly jot down that to-do when I designed this to-do list I put it into like work education chores health other social so that it would be really easy to organize your to-dos a little better if it's not the to-do list it could be just a piece of paper where you just jot down things as they come up so that you don't let yourself get distracted. But that's a really good thing to have in your study space. Uh, next thing is making sure that you have your water bottle with you at your desk. And I always say water bottle, not water glass, because obviously a glass could spill. I learned that the hard way. Um, it could spill all over your notes or laptop or something. So just make sure you have a water bottle. But it is key to keep hydrated when you're studying. Similarly, having snacks, healthy snacks, which are going to rejuvenate your brain, are really key so i think it's a good idea to plan your snacks ahead of time when we're hungry we're more likely to make bad quick decisions with the food we eat it's easier to grab a packet of crisps than wash and cut off an apple or a carrot and so just having these snacks ready prepared is, re is, is a good idea and if they're not going to spoil in your room then literally just keep them by your desk so that when you are hungry you can just go ahead and tuck in <laughs> side note I always find that I work better at a white desk. So if you're choosing a desk colour, be mindful of which colour you work best on because I always work best when it's like a white surface. <laughs> Next, have a playlist ready curated. Sometimes there might be background noise. Like I recommend having a few playlists, one for light revision that doesn't require very much focus, one for more focused tasks. I usually use piano music, classical music, and then one for really focused tasks which is more background noise that might be white noise that might be lux does really good kind of background study noise music but if you have these just there and ready you're not going to get distracted too much when there is loads of background noise you can just put your headphones in and keep on working i would recommend putting up a sign on your door for when you're studying if you find that you keep on getting distracted by people in your family so for me i always had my parents would like always be coming into my room when i was working and so now i have a sign on my door that says please don't come in i'm working and so that means that they're less likely to come in when i'm studying and distract me and then you can just turn this over when you're finished with your work so I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope it will help you as back to school approaches and I hope that you have a productive week.